You need to take everything you loved from your past love. You want to be in a high vibration to attract your new person because like attracts like. So if you're in a low vibration thinking of all the yucky stuff, you're going to attract someone in that vibration. So hey guys, I am Angela Jean and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about how to get over your ex by re writing your love story. So if you're dealing with any type of heartbreak and you can't seem to find your way out, I always suggest pretending your way out. Neville Goddard talks about the power of imagination and this is a form of that just used in a different way. So what I suggest doing is really pretending like you are the author of your life and you are writing a love story and you have to keep your readers engaged and whatever just happened, whatever heartbreak you just went through, write that part of the love story, the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? So writing it is gonna be very therapeutic for you. It's very cleansing, journaling, scripting, any type of writing things down and getting it out of your mind and on the paper is always very, very therapeutic. So write what just happened. Try to even make beauty of the tragic parts. You know what I mean? Like really, really, really pretend you guys and it'll really help wrap a new story around the love story that just ended. The next thing you're going to do is focus on the new character for your writers. This is also focusing on the new character for yourself, which keeps you forward thinking. It keeps you from dwelling in the past. And it also gets you clear on the relationship and the type of partner you want to attract in. And you can use the contrast of the old partner to clarify what you want in the new one, like what didn't work in that relationship. Also, you don't want to rewrite the same character again because that's boring for your readers. Remember, you're an author <laughs> and you're writing a love story. So the next chapter has to be amazing. And yes, they love that guy, but you want them to love this guy too. And you wanna love this guy too. So you really have to think about the contrast that didn't work here and write a new chapter. So you really start creating this new person and that also helps with the technique of power of attraction, manifestation, getting clear, crystal clear on what you want. And if you have to write this character and really play out scenes and what you would like to happen that didn't happen in this previous chapter that you want to happen in this chapter, it's really fun, you guys, and it really is a bit of escapism from what's going on, but imagination is creation, so it actually will allow you to attract in something new without even thinking about it because you're playing with it and you're because of the fact that you're playing with it you're not controlling the environment which is a big part of power of attraction so staying playful is very very key and that's why i always say to pretend like you're an author you're a top selling author Okay, you guys, so I have made a list of how to go about rewriting your love story. You need to take everything you loved from your past love. And the reason why you wanna write a list of all the beautiful things is because for one, it's really healing to stay rooted in love. And also vibration wise, you wanna stay rooted in love because you wanna be in a high vibration to attract your new person because like attracts like. So if you're in a low vibration thinking of all the yucky stuff, you're gonna attract someone in that vibration. So it's really important to take all the things that you loved about your past relationship and carry that into the new relationship, but use the contrast of what you didn't have to create your new character. And this will help you get really, really clear on what you want out of your next partner. And just be patient and wait. Okay, you guys, you have to be patient and wait for someone that really checks all the boxes. So with my past love, we had an insane friendship. We literally laughed all the time. And I think that was a big key to my heart. It was just, I've never laughed so hard with someone in my life. We navigated tasks really well. Like we collaborated well, whether it was on new ideas for apps or new business ideas for me, or like even cooking in the kitchen, we just did everything really well. Um, we remodeled a boat together. We killed it. It turned out amazing and he sold it which was really beautiful. He was really stylish. I love how he's one of those guys that like to dress the same. That's super fun, so I, I like that. Um, obviously, he was super playful and he loved my dogs. That's a must have. That one's definitely not <laughs> flexible at all. Handsome. He was extremely affectionate. Like we would sleep holding hands. We were always cuddling together and we had an amazing sex life. So that definitely is something to carry over to the next love. However, I was lacking some things. So on my new love list, obviously I want all that, but loyalty is going to be very, very, very important to me. Honesty is gonna be very important to me. I always felt like I was left out in the dark in this relationship. There's a lot of things I didn't know. Um, also someone that's into the arts would be fun. Mind you, this was during COVID, so I don't even know, but someone that's into art and museums and classical like operas and ballets and. So you can see how the characters start to change. So you can start writing your new chapter and your new love story 
based on your new character. And because there are some differences, the experiences that you would write, just to be playful, you guys, you have to realize this is just a playful technique to help the healing process and to help forward thinking and to help keep you rooted in love because that's always the goal when you're doing anything in life is just love, 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 love because it's the highest vibration. So when you start adding the new characteristics of your new love, you can kind of start creating the storyline in the new chapter of your book. And then once you have your character, just start, just start writing your new story and just do this every day. It's a really beautiful way to journal and a really beautiful way to manifest your new love and to rewrite your new love story. Okay, so that is how you go about doing it, you guys. It's a healthy way to forward think. Basically knowing that the epic love of your life is a chapter away. So it's not that far out in the future. It's a chapter away. And I promise you by the time you get done writing this chapter that just happened and diving into the next chapter, you will call him in. So be very, very specific, my loves, <laughs> okay? All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. A little playful way to attack heartbreak and how to get over your ex. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I post about two or three times a week. Click the notification bell. And if you did not get to see my last video, bam, right there. <laughs> Bye.